In this lecture, I'll be looking at the potential power contained in wind. So if we have blow wind blowing from this point at a certain speed, we will refer to this speed as V. And we have a wind turbine, and the wind turbine will extract part of the kinetic energy that is present in this air between this point and this point. And as the turbine will extract some of the energy, the kinetic energy will reduce in the air flowing in this direction. So the kinetic energy in the air at this point will be smaller than the kinetic energy in the, at this point, which means that the downwind speed, we've referred to this point as downwind, so the downwind speed will by definition be smaller than the upwind speed. So VD will be smaller than V. And in fact, the ratio of VD over V, we will denote as lambda, and lambda is a number that ranges from 0 to 1. So, it, because VD is smaller than V, lambda will have to be smaller than 1. And that power, that kinetic energy, or kinetic energy power that has been extracted, would be converted by the wind turbine into mechanical energy at this shot. The power present in the wind is proportional to the density of the air, it's proportional to the area, and it's proportional to the cube of the speed. And that will give us power in units of watts in here. Um, and you will also notice in this diagram that the cross-sectional area at this point is larger than the cross-sectional area of this point. And there's a good reason for that, because we will assume that the flow of air at this point should be equal to the flow of the air at this point. So the flow of air through this cross-sectional area, capital A, should be equal to the flow of the air through this cross-sectional area, capital A, D. And the subscript D stands for downwind. And this is based on the conservation of mass. So this is the flow of air, the mass flow of air at this point, which is V times A, that's volumetric flow rate, multiplied by rho gives us mass flow rate. So the mass flow rate at this point should still be equal to the mass flow rate at this point, which means that rho V times A is equal to rho VD times AD in order to conserve the mass. We're assuming that rho has not changed, so the air has not been compressed in any way. So if rho is the same, then this becomes V times A equals VD times AD. And then V over D is, is inversely proportional. So the reduction in speed from this point to this point, and the reduction in speed from this point to this point has been caused by the turbine. So the turbine has extracted the power from the wind. Has been co is, is, co corresponds to an increase in the cross-sectional area from capital A to AD. And that's why AD is larger than A, and VD is smaller than V.